So this is number three, video number three, three of the Cheryl Murphy uh, readings in a gallery that she has taken over from Thomas John. He did the first hour and she's doing the second hour and we're on reading three. Her readings do go a little longer than Thomas John's. Totally different personality, different kind of reader, absolutely different every way, form. I like doing these videos in a bunch together because you feel like when you're done, you have a better sense of the style, the method, the tricks of the medium. This was recorded in a gallery reading in September, late September, 2023 over Zoom. Um, I attended as well as several other people from my uh, Girl of Skeptic team. The psychics didn't know we were there. They never mentioned it. They had did not feel our juju energy, nothing like that. And when the recording is over, then they upload the video and send you a link. So there's 114 people on this um, screen. So there is at least 114 people who have this entire video. Nothing's blurred out, nothing at all. So these people can, I guess, do whatever they want with the videos of all their fellow people who are on the call. I, and plus they did check a little box saying that they knew they were being recorded. So I'm just throwing that out there in case somebody has a problem with me showing these videos. Um, I'm blurring people out and I'm removing their names. So I have a lot more security and uh, empathy for these people that are being read than the actual psychic does. Just saying. Okay, so Cheryl Murphy, if you haven't seen the first two videos, is a psychic medium that just appeared. Uh, we didn't know she was going to be there. I didn't know anything about her. Uh, Thomas John just made an announcement saying, okay, here's Cheryl. I'm out of here because I've, I've got something came up. Bye. And here's Cheryl. She says, oh, hi, everybody. I'm Cheryl Murphy and I'm a psychic reader. I do animal communication and all these other things. And I'm just breaking down all the readings. I, as I keep saying, nothing stuck with me at all when I was there live watching these readings. Her, her readings to me were just, a there was no nothing that really made me think that I should pay close attention to what she was saying it was a lot of tropes a lot of psychic 101 kind of stuff that you learn I, anyway so the reading we're going to see right now is for a man named Chris his last name is a common last name and one of the very few people who are ever going to get a reading from Thomas John that would be a common name. So he was unlikely to get called on at all if Thomas John was still there because Thomas John usually doesn't do that. So what he, because he likes to pick people who have unusual last names, first and last names, so he can hot read them easier. Not saying that having a common last name, first and last name will not get you a reading from Thomas John. Because if you post on Thomas John's Facebook event page saying, I will be there and your name is there, you know, your Facebook account is there and he can click on that account name and he can open up your Facebook page and there's in, um, stuff for him to find, your name could be Joe Smith and you're going to get a reading. I'm just saying it's just less likely. He likes to usually pick the people who have unusual names. I digress as I tend to do. All right. The first video she did was somebody named Teresa. The second video she did was a man I called Guy. And she says, I feel like I need to get a reading, give a reading to a, a man. And she pulled up one of only four people that were there that were male out of the 114 so odd people. There was four males. I counted them. And so the first one was Guy. And now this guy is going to jump in. She doesn't call on him. He volunteers himself. And that's what you're going to see when I pull up this video right now. So I'm glad you're here with me. I feel like you're there. I know you're going to be making comments on my videos, seeing things that I didn't see, um, making observations that I hadn't observed. 
And I really appreciate it. I need to know that you're here because these are really hard to get through. So please leave me comments, hit like, subscribe, you know, all, you know, the, you know, the drill. All right. You ready? I have, like I said, I blurred him out. And because the space is so close to the screen, I just felt like he needed more blurring. Not that anybody be able to recognize him, I think, except for himself. But I don't know. I gave him a little more blurring than I normally do for these videos because he's just so close to the screen. Six minutes, 39 seconds. I know we can do this. Take notes, you guys. Take lots of notes. I don't remember what it is. I think it has something to do with real estate and selling property. But that's about all I remember. I don't know if it's a psychic reading or if it's a medium reading. Because she's supposed to be doing psychic readings. But she keeps bringing in elements of uh, you know, medium readings. So I, I don't, I don't know. Come, you know, bear with me. Please go through this with me. <laughs> on the other side, we'll discuss it. Okay, and let me just. I'm Cheryl. I'm on the line as well. I saw another gentleman on the on the call. It, hi, Chris. Hi. Uh, well, Chris, why don't you ask me a question? Because I saw you pop up when I was talking to Graham. Uh, sure. What is your question, please? And let's my work question that. right now is in regards to my finances, uh -huh. and uh, more specifically in regards to my condo. How am I going to end up with that? I'm sorry. Do you own a condo? Is do you own a condo? Yes. Yes, I own a condo, and uh, like I said, I'm more curious about my finances and being able to hold on to the condo. Yeah. Um. And then do you have another place that you live, please? Or do you vacation yes. somewhere yes. else, please? Yes, I do. I have two homes. So this is what I'm feeling with your condo. It's like living somewhere else and renting your condo out, like a vacation rental or I, I don't know. I'm just letting you know this is what I'm getting. Like you can make a, you can make really good money in, in, sh in a short amount of time, like a short burst of time. There does have to see, I feel like you have to release some people in your life just to let you know. I'm not sure who this is, but do you understand that? Like, I don't know if people are asking you for money or borrowing money from you, but I don't know. It's like uh, keeping your ener money energy uh, well cared for yourself, if you understand that, please. Right. Uh, also, are you, in the healing, are you in the healing field? Yes, I'm, I'm a nurse. Oh, you're I'm a, a nurse. registered nurse. Thank you for thank you for that. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, because I feel holy is what I felt. Holy, you know, holy man, holy healer, holy. Like, this is this is not just your day job, so to speak. Like you're a healer, right? Whether you're working as a nurse or you're on your day off, you you present yourself to the spirit world as a healer, just to let you know. I just feel like you are commissioned or you're being called to this job. So being a nurse is something you've been called to, is that right? Or you've done it your whole life, for example, you've been? No, I've done it my whole life. I've actually retired now. I love it. I feel like your angels or your guides have actually called you to do this line of work. Like you just stepped into it naturally. That's, and have you been asked to go back or to do some other type of contract work, please? Uh, that's what I was doing, contract work, actually. But uh, my, he my health, is not well. And I was concerned about that as well. Okay. Um, also, uh, may I just say, is it your breathing and or your back? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry, what's that? It was, it's my lungs. Yeah. Uh, look, um, I, I don't see you, re I don't see you getting rid of any real estate. Uh, just to let you know, I just feel releasing around you though also. And so if you live in a condo, there has to be an HOA. Is that correct? That's it correct. It feels like something in there is being released. You know, like maybe they're going through changing of the guards also, right? New people coming in, new people going out. Right. So in some way, it does feel like it's to your benefit. All right. I just want to say. Um. <clears throat> So let's go to your lungs, if I may. And I always sure. have to say, I'm not a doctor. I always have to let people know that this is not I understand. If you understand that, please. But um, I just get a sense of it is where you live in a humid area somewhere. One I'm in of Florida. Your, yeah, somewhere it's like it's more environmental for you than uh, at the moment because I feel like you'll get better. Meaning, I don't know, maybe you just go up to drier 
climates, right, or something like this, and it gets better. But there's something about um, you staying in Florida. Is that right? Because of the doctors or the insurance? It's almost like there's, I feel safe here, Cheryl, you know? Exactly. Like, exactly. I know what you mean, but, you know, if I need anything, it, I'm going to get the better care here. Right. Because right. you're, you're all exactly. dialed in and you're, you know, you know people. <laughs> right, right. But still, even if you vacation, I just feel we would, would help you out. Um, I also want to just tell you about your lungs is I'm hearing you push too hard sometimes. If you understand that, it's almost like with your exercising or your whatever that is, it's like you're pushing almost too hard and we get farther when we're more relaxed also right and that releasing just to finish with you uh chris because there's there's a lot there with all of you i mean we could but i'm trying to get more people chris if you don't mind but i am hearing that releasing part that i mentioned earlier that could be releasing stress or people that you know have that stress in your life you know it's like if i can breathe easier and relax more you go farther right right you, Right. And because people can cause stress and cause us to go oh, absolutely feel, not feel so good, whatever it is, you know, whether right. it's a headache or just tighten up. Right. Uh, but I love where you are actually in Florida. I know you have good doctors. I know you're being cared for. And I do feel um, an actual just to finish with you again. I do feel a financial flow coming to you. So okay. just to tell you, you might sell that other property. I don't know why. Do you own that with other people, please? Yes, my wife. Okay. I don't know, but I just feel like that. I don't know why, but you feel I don't like know. I may sell land. Sold. Excuse me, Chris? So you think that the other house is going to be sold? That might might very well be, because is it with land or there's land around it? Uh, it it's a house. It's, you know, a it's home. home on a lot. Okay. It might be. I don't want to say I'm 100% on that, but uh, I did feel some financial flow with you because you are very lucky with real estate believe it or not you're very you pick you're a good picker is what i'm hearing right. you know right you know, i have the, the condos oceanfront it's beautiful ah well, and that's, that's why i was worried i don't want to lose this of course not well think about the vacation rental thing to start with because it feels like a lot of money in a short period of time and it's something where you could possibly uh, be delighted uh, with the with the um, return on investment. Sounds good. All right. Very nice to meet you. Likewise. Thank you so much, Cheryl. Thank you. Appreciate so much. it. Thank you. Have a and good evening. What do you think of that? That was a little odd. I didn't know she was into real estate. She's a real estate person. I made a lot of notes. So no mediumship in this one at all. I don't know. This one was very confusing because I, I, I can't understand why this nurse, retired nurse, would be so concerned about his oceanfront condo in Florida He's worried about it. He's worried that he's going to lose it. And he's worried about it enough that he would sit on a call for almost two hours. Now we're like an hour and 45 minutes into this gallery reading that he had with Thomas John that Cheryl Murphy came up. I I don't know. Do you guys, can you leave me some messages in the, in the comments? Because I'm not sure what it was that his, is he worried about it because he's in financial problems? And he's worried that he's going to have to sell it or is he being sued and he's afraid that he's going to end up losing the house, the condo, or is it because he's um, maybe a natural disaster? He's worried that something's going to hit and and he didn't tell her that he was, he was just vague saying he's worried about this property. I, I don't know. I, I just don't know why he would call and ask a psychic this whenever all she, and she gave him nothing i wonder if he was thinking as he was going along this is just silly i feel really silly asking her this and and i'm not getting anything out of this obviously she's not psychic i wonder if because he never he never expanded on it he just was kind of like well 
I'm, I, what do you see for my property? And she was so vague. She says, well, then you have another property. And, you know, usually people who have a condo, um, not usually, but a lot of people who, um, I guess of his age, you would think would have a, a second house, you know, like the snowbirds. I don't know if he actually lives in Florida full time. And his second property is in Florida also. That wasn't clear. She never said, and he didn't volunteer. She just said, do you live where it's humid? Well, that's the South. No idea. So one of the things to keep in mind is that there's a chat going on and she can read the chat. So if he's having any conversations with anybody else, like about um, him being a nurse or that he's retired or anything like that, his back, his health of any kind, if he said that in the chat, she can read it. We we don't know what's in there because we can't see it. Um, She says, are you in the healing field? Well, that's the best she got. Boy, that was a hit if you really if you, well i don't know why she would know and then unless she was looking at him he looks like a nurse <laughs> he just looks like that type i don't know it could have been anything she it could have been a guess because as soon as he says she says are you in the healing field which could be you know many things working for a hospital in a doctor's office is a doctor, is a dentist, is a healing energy person who does healing energy or um, Reiki or chiropractor, eye doctor. I mean, think about how broad that is in the healing field. There's an awful lot of different things that could be in there. And when he said, I'm a nurse, she goes, oh, really? She was surprised. I thought that was interesting. Um, he, um, she goes on about him having a calling to be a nurse, that he was called to do this. And he had, a, it was a natural, um, he took on it naturally. Well, you know, it's kind of like policemen or firemen nursing. It does feel like it's a calling, you know, uh, it's kind of a, a trope. I don't know if it's like that worldwide, but here in America, it's kind of, I was called to be a nurse. It's kind of like, um, you know, it's a really, really difficult, or a teacher, like be a teacher. It's, it's a hard, hard profession that isn't necessarily paid well. And it's really bad on your body, which is an interesting thing. She said, she says, you're having health issues with your, with your lungs or does she say lungs or does she say you're breathing, breathing or back. So now if he is a nurse, it's notorious that you're going to have back problems. And I think also leg problems because you're on your feet all the time. And nurses are constantly moving people. You know, um, there's it's, it's a back breaking job. So to find out somebody's a nurse, it's just kind of a, well, your back probably hurts. I don't know about the breathing. I, I don't, I don't know where she got that. It could have been a lucky guess. It could have been just playing the odds. I don't know. This thing where she says, were you called back or to come back in and, you know, continue working as um, a consultant or something like that? She was saying, could you call back now? Dang it. We just went through three years of lockdowns and COVID. So everybody and their brother and everybody you knew that worked in the health field was asked to come back during at some point in the last three years if you have any background in the medical field because they were so short staffed i mean do you guys remember this it was um especially in the first year the hospitals were really short staffed and people were being flown in from different places or you know they're taking a hospital that's overrun and they're moving them to a place that that uh, are moving people who are in places that are relatively the uh, surge had kind of gone down a little bit so they're moving them over to another hospital and so yeah of course he was asked to come back that was that that just seems like a hit but we we lived through this you guys come on between you and i we know that was common 
at least asked to come back. Not necessarily he went back. He was asked to come back and he said, yes, he, he was doing some consulting or something. Um, oh, he doesn't seem like he'd be selling. And that was the property again. She went back to the property. Uh, HOA people were leaving. They were changing the HOA people. He kind of went like, okay. Well, HOAs usually are voted in, voted out. So I think they're like change every year, don't they? Or at least some people change. I thought it was really odd that when she says, can I talk about your lungs? And she says, I'm definitely not a doctor, but she says, can I, can I talk about your lungs? And he's like, okay, sure. And I thought you're a nurse. Why would you do that? You know, unless he wasn't really taking her seriously at all. I thought that was strange. And why is she looking at his lungs or anything to do with medicine at all i mean real estate medicine why is she doing this that is not a good idea and when you add the well i'm not really a doctor well that's fine we know you're not a doctor but i am here getting a reading from you it's just odd you know i i i think it's just dangerous stuff because she's saying don't take me very seriously because I'm not a doctor, but I am been talking to the dead all night and I'm, you know, I can read your future. So do take me seriously. Whatever. She says that he, she's, he's staying in Florida because he has doctors and insurance. Well, he did say he was a nurse. So he probably does have um, good insurance and, and doctors that he really likes because he's in the health field and he's retired. She says that he's pushed too hard. Okay, well, he is a nurse, so I'm sure he has pushed too hard. He seemed to have an intense personality, you know, where he's really leaning into the call. Farther when we are relaxed, you are pushed too hard. Even, I, I wrote this down in quotes, farther when we are more relaxed. All right. You need to release pe people. She said that earlier. You know who I'm talking about. Do you know who I'm talking about? And he's all, yes, I know. You need to release people. Uh, so she brings this up towards the end. You need to release people, which would help relieve stress. I find that very dangerous always whenever these mediums who do not know these people offer advice as if they have divine wisdom you know that they have some special powers to be able to see this because we don't know what's going on in this man's life and in his mind he's thinking oh she must be talking about something that's on his mind like maybe his son or maybe an in-law or maybe a neighbor you know he's going oh i bet she's talking about joey yeah, that must be it. And so she's saying, I, sh I need to release them from my life. I need to get rid of this person out of my life. They're causing too much stress and it's harming my health. So this is one of those things where because he trusts her gift, her special powers, what he's doing is he can make decisions Um based on what she says that might not be healthy or the right decisions for him to make because maybe he shouldn't be giving up on joey whoever joey is i just made it up you guys if you know a joey i i just made that up <laughs> don't trust me on that but maybe he should be giving this child or this person another chance maybe maybe it's in his best interest to do these things and she says your finances are going to start improving can can he get his money back if they aren't? Of course, everybody's money goes like this, you know, up, down, up, down. What does it mean? Finances. Do you own this place? Do you own this other place, your other residence with somebody else? He says, well, yeah, my wife. No, no, my wife doesn't get, doesn't get a share. She says, I think that the other house might sell. Possibly, maybe, sort of, could have, maybe, whatever. I mean, what what was the purpose of doing a reading with her? And why why would he 
think that they're going to sell the other house. I mean, it's not what he called for him. Why, why mention? I don't know. And then again, he goes back and he says he really, really does not want to lose the oceanfront. Beautiful property he has in Florida with the oceanfront view. And she had nothing to tell him other than some big, yeah, well, I can see your finances improving and I don't really see it selling. Maybe it should sell. Maybe he's got an offer that's really amazing and the place is going to get hit by a, um, a hurricane next season and wipe it out. And he sold it in the nick of time to this other investor who loved the property and he should have sold it. But no, she says, I don't see it selling. You know, you would think maybe she could give some kind of suggestion. Is the place going to be hit by a hurricane? Where is the next hurricane going to hit? Do we, does she have any kind of information that maybe would be helpful? Some knowledge about destruction that might be coming across the path of wherever he is in Florida. She says, I see that I, you're, I see your places. She says, I, she made it sound like she could see the place or or see the where he lives in Florida. And she really thought it was beautiful or she loved it or whatever it was. And I thought, what, well, which one is it? Name it for us, Cheryl. What, what street does he live on? Where did, what city does he live in? Can you name his zip code? Give us a zip code. Can you give us anything? Because, you know, what is missing? She didn't know he had a wife. He didn't know, she didn't seem to know he had a wife that would be sharing in the property. She didn't say where the other property was. She says, is there land around it? Like land, like meaning a lot of land. And he says, well, it's a house. I don't know. You guys, thank you for being here with me. I don't feel like I'm talking to myself. Okay, so that's number three. I don't know if I have the energy to do more. Let's see if we can squeak out a couple more. I think there's only two more readings in this. And I just want to just get them done so I can just be done with Cheryl. And it's done. Please leave your comments. I know you saw more things than I did. So let me know what you found. Hit like. Please hit like on the video. It's supposed to do something for the YouTube gods. Make them happy. Every time you hit like on one of my videos, an angel gets its wings. So please hit like. 